It's now come out in the open that U.S. Navy's Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, USS Dewey, tested hypervelocity projectiles, or HVPs. These tests were executed during Rim of the Pacific Exercise, or RIMPAC, last year. During the exercise, USS Dewey had fired 20 HVPs from its 5-inch deck gun. This is a major step forward as it will enable U.S. Navy to conduct prompt strikes against different types of targets. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why hypervelocity projectiles will be a game-changer for U.S. military. Let's get started. RIMPAC 2018 was conducted in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of the Hawaiian island of Kaui from June 27 to August 2, 2018. Anonymous sources have revealed the occurrence of the test to USNI News. These tests were never announced officially. Hypervelocity Gun Weapon System HGWS, program fall inside the purview of Secretive Strategic Capabilities Office SCO. Viewers may note that in January 2018, Vincent Sabio, who is in charge of Hypervelocity Gun Weapon System program, had stated at the Center for Strategic and International Studies think tank in Washington, D.C. that, my program ends less than a year from now, implying that tests were scheduled before the end of 2018. The idea of HVPs is to have projectiles capable of attaining speeds of Mach 3 using traditional propellant charges. This is around half the speed of phototype railguns but significantly faster than traditional shells being currently used by U.S. Navy. The major advantage is that unlike electromagnetic railguns which require totally new installation, the HVPs can be fired from Mark 45 guns. Mark 45 guns are already present in Arleigh Burke class destroyers and Ticonderoga class cruisers. This really makes sense since the U.S. Navy has 66 Arleigh Burke and 22 Ticonderoga class warships in active service. Apart from speed advantage, HVP rounds have a range of around 50 miles, outranging the current shells by a massive margin. The current traditional shells have a range of about 15 miles. The speed makes it a good weapon against fast-moving surface vessels and significantly improve surface warfare capabilities. This is an extremely important aspect since U.S. Navy's internal analysis has come to a conclusion that agile missile boats could be a potential threat for large warships like Arleigh Burke-class destroyers and Ticonderoga-class cruisers when operating in littoral water. The guns could now also be a more potent anti-aircraft and anti-missile system. Currently, the warships have Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile ESSM, and the Standard Missile II SM2, for anti-aircraft and anti-missile weapon. These are very expensive and not cost-effective, especially when used against small drones or incoming missiles. Close-in systems like the Rolling Airframe Missile RAM, and Phalanx Close-In Weapon System CIWS, are designed for the last line of defense against air and missile threats and have a limited range. HVP-equipped Mark 45 guns will be able to aid these weapons in anti-aircraft and anti-missile roll. At around $85,000 per round, HVP is a much cheaper option compared to any of these weapons. In practical terms, HVP will add a lot of flexibility without having to make radical change. If the HVP program becomes a success, it will add significant muscle to U.S. Navy surface ships, which is actually needed keeping in view the advancements being made by rivals. The revelation of these tests comes at a time when it's been reported that China is moving ahead with development of hypersonic weapons. A recent release has even shown an electromagnetic railgun prototype deployed in a Chinese warship. With massive budget allocation, which is next only to the U.S., China will be one of America's main rivals in the future apart from the traditional rival, Russia. HVP is one part of hypersonic weapons development which includes hypersonic missile, hypersonic glide vehicles. 
The tests clearly demonstrate the American military leadership's intent to keep the U.S. well ahead in terms of high-tech weapon systems. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.